A traumatic car crash 30 years ago is now inspiring a new Iberia man to launch a nonprofit called Disability New Beginning Not End. Our Darcy Ortiz explains how Jan Nicholson is making sure people with disabilities are not left behind. Jan Nicholson has been paralyzed since 1992. It was a, I was in a car wreck. We were taking about 12 or 13 kids in a caravan to a tennis tournament. It was raining real hard and we hydroplaned, went off the highway and the uh, suburban caught on fire. So, uh, you know, lucky to be here. Lucky is an understatement. Jan is not the only one who sustained injuries in this accident. One of my sons broke a collarbone. Uh, my wife had a lot of bruises and uh, things like that. And then I had a, another son that had a head injury. Despite these circumstances, Jan continues to keep a smile on his face. The car burned up, but we were all lucky to get out of it. Jan's son Blake is his full-time caregiver and is trying to help more people with disabilities live a quality life. I don't know anyone else who kind of taken on that responsibility of raising a family and keeping everything together while also going through paralysis, rehab, and everything else. The Nicholsons tell me faith is the glue that helps keep their family together and motivated to help other people living with disabilities. Jan says his nonprofit, Disability New Beginning Not End, has resources that help with daily activities. We have a website that if somebody's wondering about uh, urinary incontinence and they're paralyzed, they can go to our website. We usually have a video or uh, good information where they can go get what they need. Jan is collecting donations for his nonprofit and hopes to inspire and support others. You can make it an end, but you also can make it a new beginning. In New Iberia, Darcy Wertik, KATC TV3.